Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever time it is, I'm Cycle, and this is Let's Play Train Simulator. And uh, it's going to be a stormy day today, it looks like. Now, last scenario was actually the hardest scenario, apparently. So uh, I feel quite accomplished now. Uh, so we're going to be taking tranquil fields and quiet villages replaced by a storm that is blowing from the Atlantic. Because we're good at sending storms over from across the Atlantic, apparently. Uh, frantic residents are relying on the railway to provide vital transport links to local towns after many trees have fallen blocking roads all over the country. I'm going to assume there is scenery uh, along the tracks that shows a downed tree here and there. I'm going to have to keep an eye out for that. So this could be very interesting. Let's go ahead and get ourselves busy and see just what this storm has uh, done. You may have heard, there is a storm coming. We have laid on this extra train to get local people home before it hits. Let's get to it. Close that shit tape. Okay. We're gonna, off site you're gonna see. I'm gonna show you now that we're doing it. We're lowering the brake, we're adding the reverser up, we're brake, releasing all the pressure and getting the train moving as quick as we can. The reason is because this is not our first stop. Our first stop is Williton. And we are at stop. I can't even think of it. Say the name. Uh, let's look out the window and get the name. Stogumber. There it is. We're at Stogumber. So I'm putting the uh, power up as quick as I can, as safe as I can, within the speed limit. And we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get that up to a level where I can now start applying some brake pressure and maintaining a downhill gradient. You're gonna see that I'm gonna be moving this brake pressure up quite a bit because we're on a heavy downhill gradient. So I'm trying to get up to about 18 right now to monitor. I'm at 17 actually, that's a little higher than I intended, but it's probably gonna be better there. So I'm gonna move back up just a little bit. We're currently sitting at 22 mile per hour, so I'm gonna release it back to 18. I'm going to try to let the speed go up a little bit. I'm going to actually use the regulator to help towards that. I'm going to bring the regulator back down so we have some control on this downhill. So I think we're in a bit of a good zone right now for our speed. We're at 25.3 miles per hour. That should be good if we can maintain that all the way. There's going to be a couple gradient changes, I believe, from the past scenarios. Now, one thing I want to point out about this, I'm going to show you the route, first of all, before we get too invested in our gradient. The route we're taking today, we're back here. The route we're taking today is going to take us to Williton, up to Watchet, and then Washford. We're going to have to eventually uh, drop off the coaches. We're going to then drop off the wagons. We're going to drop off or couple some pasture coaches to uh, the other train, other side of the train, then we're going to stop at Washford and be done. So we're basically going to be doing some shunting when we arrive. I'm going to do the passenger run in one sitting and at least get through the storm. Hopefully the storm will clear and I can just do a save game in case I screw up the uh, shunting part. But um, if it stays thundering and stormy the whole way, I'm probably going to have to uh, just do this in one run and be happy with it. So let's hope nothing goes wrong. This is going to be a single run scenario. And the reason for that is because if I were to uh, try to go back and uh, not do it as a single run, then the weather's going to reset itself and you're going to know it's not stormy anymore. So it'll kind of ruin the immersion at that point. I want to maintain maximum immersion. Okay, not maximum. I can't put you next to the guy coughing on you, but you know. So I tried to release a little bit of brake pressure because we went to a 1 in 100 gradient. I think it was 1 in 92 before. And we're slightly going up now, so I'm just trying to put on a tad more brake pressure to make sure we don't go too fast. Back to this side, because now that's where the track is. It's still trying to go up, so I'm popping a couple more specs on there. And it looks like we're holding now, so we are in a hold position. This is good. So to tell you where we are right now at 18.5 inches HG, and I maintain 25.3 miles per hour on uh, a downhill gradient of one in 100. This should give you an idea how to handle this train, possibly any steam train, but definitely this train. 
on a 1 to 1 higher gradient. Actually, you could probably remove decimal 1 HG and make it 18.6 because I am lowering speed just slightly here. But it is definitely still within realism, realistic management numbers here. So this is still okay. This is not bad. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and remove that decimal 1 because I actually that's more than decimal 1. There we go. So I removed that decimal 1 after reapplying some. And that should be a hold pattern right now. I should be roughly holding at this speed. Now there are no other trains on the line to uh, Washford. So we are going to go ahead and just continue all the way to Washford. And that's going to be that. Now something I want to talk about, I don't think I've talked about in prior scenarios. And if I have, I'm just going to repeat myself. I'm going to probably mention it next scenario too. Uh, as we uh, start having some problems with uh, speed, so I'm going to uh, lower our pressure completely. Yeah, we're on flat ground. Remove the brakes completely. So I'm looking to have a special set of scenarios set up here. And I'm speaking to a friend of mine who is a scenario creator and uh, has made hundreds of these things. I'm talking to him about possibly trying to uh, coordinate and set up a scenario base around the West Somerset Railway galas that take place. You know they have a steam gala, a diesel gala, a uh, legends gala of some sort, uh, a, 60s, a 50s or 40s gala. So they have all sorts of special events at the West Somerset Railway. This is one reason why it's a good heritage railway to be aware of because you get to see these different events take place. And it's a nice long drive. It's like you have the uh, Riviera, which takes you down to Kingswear, obviously. That's a good one as well. But I don't know a lot about their events. I have looked up West Somerset Railway while getting ready to run this route. I'm going to look up, again, the uh, Dartmoor one after... I was looking up last during COVID, so nothing was showing up. Here comes the storm, by the way. So I'm going to see if I can get information on the Dartmoor events, too, and talk about them when I do Riviera in the 50s. But I am looking at doing these events on, the, um, on this route because it's a nice 20-mile-long route. They might have travels direct from uh, all the way along the entire route as possible. I'm going to watch my speed right now. So I'm, they might have drives right along the entire route as part of the gala, and you get to ride a, ride a who, who knows, a Deltic from uh, Bishop Leonard, which I, which is where we start. It might actually go even to the Norman Station. I can't remember the name of that one, but the one that starts the route, which currently is not available in this uh, DLC, I don't believe. Uh, you can potentially take trains all the way to Minehead and back and forth. So my goal is to get the entire run. I need to put these brakes on again. How do they release? My goal is to get some scenarios covering these trains and trying to cover the layout of the track at different times and also air the scenarios at the same time the runs are taking place or put them on the launch just before the runs take place. By doing that, it's possible that someone who might be at that event could also load up my scenario at the exact same time and be able to watch this scenario video, that is, the video of the scenario as they're actually driving the in, riding on the train in the actual train, which would be a really cool aspect if you think about it. So I think that's something that I want to try and do. I want to publish these videos the same day the events take place and get something to, uh, for those who don't have access to online while they're abroad, to um, look at when they get home so they can see exactly what they just did in a simulated format and just have a memory of, yeah, this happened, this happened and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna try and get as much information as I can about what's gonna be going on, what trains are gonna be where, what kind, how the presentations are gonna go. And if I can get that kind of information, there's no guarantee I'm gonna be able to. I'm slowing down way too early. If I can get that kind of information, I will go ahead and um, see if we can get that all included in the scenario as well. So we have a realistic experience. There might be a shunting demonstration. So we're gonna to wanna to have the guy saying, and this is how this uh, train does this. We hook this up here and da 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 and so on. So. We're going to try to do uh, something uh, unique with these scenarios. I want to air them as the events take place. That's going to be my return after these initial scenarios on West Somerset Railway. I'm going to try and use the members edition for that. I want to also do the diesel pack I already know that exists. But I definitely want to try and do one for the current year for the event that's going to take place this year as well. So that's something to keep an eye on. I may or may not be able to do that, but I want to do that. So we're going to see if I can pull that off. So I'm releasing the uh, brakes right now because, oh, that's a bad idea, bad idea. Reapply them, reapply them. Okay, bad idea to release the brakes, I'm still on the downhill. But now we're coming in the station, this is a lot better now. We're gonna stop at Williton, we're gonna let all the uh, customers on. There's a lot of them today. There's a lot of 
problem. We're going to go ahead and come to a stop up here. This is about a good enough spot to come to a stop, I believe. We're going to do that. Actually, I need to go a little further. Release, 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 release. A little further. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and break. And we're going to open the doors, and that is arrival at Williton Down Platform. Got to go around the coast now. It looks like the storm is getting close. I'm sure it is. Let's go. We'll hide that. Gonna lower my uh, regular. Oh, I could have actually kept it for a moment. So we're gonna lower the regular. I went back in the cab as you can see. You can see the rain on here. There are no wipers on these trains either. So, so much for that. Let's get the regulator back up as we're about to enter 25. I'm gonna lower the reverser down to the uh, more economical usage of steam, which is around there. So. I've kept a small application. I'm gonna go ahead and reapply a little bit to 12%. There's a minor downhill coming up here, so I'm gonna actually lower my uh, regulator to nothing for a moment because of this downhill. It's not much of a downhill gradient, but it's there. It may add speed, so I'm kind of holding where I am for a moment because of that. We have plenty of time for this stop. So it doesn't look like it yet, but we do. So we're going to go ahead and uh, manage this appropriately. We're gaining those seconds now, you might be noticing. So we're going to eventually have to lower for the 15. We didn't have as much of a downhill bump as I thought we might. There's another downhill bump right after the 15 sign. So we're going to want to be very careful about that. I'm going to apply some brake pressure now, but not much. And the reason I'm applying some brake pressure now is because I want to make sure when I need the brake pressure, we can use it. I'm going to keep the re regulator up for now to maintain speed through this. Okay, so this should do the job. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that brake pressure now. So I'm gonna hold that as a run, actually I'm gonna need more. I'm not gonna get down in time, I don't think. I just made it. I've released all the brake pressure. We're gonna go ahead and coast at this point and get our speed back up slightly towards 15. When we hit the 25, I'll go ahead and I'll speed up again. Look at the sign there. That is an interesting sign. I don't remember that sign before. Oh, all stations, there you go. We can go up to 25 again if we want to. And lower the uh, regulator. I'm gonna put a running brake on. Don't do too much in, else in terms of brake pressure though. We can add a little more speed. We're gonna have to bring it down to 15 again. speed for our stop anyway at watch it so we're definitely gonna be at 15 by the time we get to the platform or we're gonna have a serious problem so the rain is falling we're gonna probably hear some uh, thunder at some point see some lightning probably in the other order so those two signs unfortunately are on top of each other I'm gonna say we're about three tenths of a mile from the sign uh, probably about now. I'm 
putting a minor brake application on right now just to help me with the initial slowdown. I'm not going to do too much more than that for right now, but as I get a little closer, I'm going to do that now. So I'm holding at 15 for a moment. And that's actually more than I need, so I'm releasing a little bit of that pressure again. So in terms of slowing down, I'm definitely going to be slowed down in time. I'm releasing some pressure to come in the station a little faster. And I'm going to release it completely because I'm down at 15. Actually, I'm going to keep it at 20, I guess. Not what I intended, but... Watch it as a long station platform. The entire train will fit. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some brakes to get ourselves down to 10 at this point. I'm going to release after I get a little under 10, and we're going to crawl along the platform to a stopping point. So this is a good continuation. I'll put the regulator on to ensure speed is maintained. There we go. So I'm running along at 8 right now, 8 miles per hour, along the Watch It platform. We're going to come to a stop along this platform. Oh, that was a nice flash of lightning. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stop here. We're going to let everyone on. This is good enough. Brakes. This also gives us the best possible chance on our last stop as well, making sure we're on time. So we're stopping at the end of the platform. I'm releasing the brakes at this point and opening the doors. Arrival, I'll watch it. Watch it, our next and final stop of the passenger service. Hello, is going to be Washford itself. I'm going to go ahead and start increasing the throttle to around 10 to 15, at which point I'm going to start dropping that down. The regulator that is. In fact, we were actually lost in speed right there. Probably from the cars doing what the cars do. We've taken a, a park on the right side of the train, watching the curve going around this way now. So that's what we're doing at this point. I actually need to add more speed. Which I will do now. I'm going to actually start applying some brake pressure because we're going to need it on the downhills coming up, I believe. Actually, we're not even on the downhills yet, so let's just keep going for right now on the uphill. We'll go from there. Lowering the regulator again. Nope, we're still going to need it. I actually don't want that like that. I just realized I'm wasting my steam. I forgot to lower it. So we're going to fix that. And uh, we're going to keep the running brake on where it is. Notice I've kept a small amount of brake pressure applied right now. Only to give me more control. Uh, I've noticed uh, on a previous run that this area was being a little bit wonky, so I'm trying to maintain control in this area. Right there, you're noticing right now that my uh, speed was just shooting up. I just got the brakes on just in time, so now I'm going to release the pressure completely and reapply some of it. There we go. So the wonkiness started, but I caught it just in time, which is fortunate for me. I'll apply a little bit of that power again, and that will, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, I'm gonna have to be very, very careful here. I have to be very careful. Thank goodness I'm maintaining some pressure. So at least that's uh, helping me a little bit. So some of the steam going in is actually getting used. Some of it's already being stopped by the brakes. This may not be normal conventional steam driving pressure, but let's just say I'm trying to avoid having to replay this. <laughs> the uphill gradient is not strong enough that I'm going to be able to just push against it at 20. I'm going to have to... Uh, keep 
some rake supply to just keep some control here. And boy, is that shooting up again. We still have five minutes before we are scheduled to arrive in Washburn, so we're going to be there in about that time or less. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and release the pressure at this time because I think we're going to uh, have uphill issues at this point, so I'm going to leave it on uphill issues. I'm trying to put minor regulator applications on so I can still... That's not working. I'm trying to put minor applications on the regulator so I can get some additional speed, but I'm just worried it's going to go ahead and shoot into the uh, portion where I'm speeding, and that's what I'm worried about. So I'm trying to keep between 19 and 20 for right now. If it shoots over 20, that's fine, as long as it doesn't shoot over 21. I thought I was going to need the brakes for a second. You notice I panicked there. The storm is clearing. Okay, this is good news. The storm is starting to clear already. That was a fast storm. That was a very fast storm. So this is pretty much uphill all the way. We're going to be fighting this all the way. Trying to avoid putting so much regulator on that we end up speeding. I'm just going to be constantly moving it up and down at this point because I'm not sure what else to do at this point. If I leave it up for too long, then it just shoots up and uh, gets uncontrollable. So as soon as I see any kind of increase to the speed, what I do is I drop the regulator right to zero immediately. So now's the time I'm going to increase it again. And there we go, down it comes. You can see there is a signal up ahead. This is probably uh, protecting Washford. So I probably want to go on this side to see the signal. I'm down under 18, so I'm going to keep the regulator on for a moment, even if it starts going up. Yep, there's Washford up, the, Washford, I should say, up there. So I just shot over 20. That is okay. We can manage that. There's no change in speed limit coming into Washford. I need to get it back over 19. There we go. And yeah, we got plenty of time for the stop. I'm not concerned about the timing at all here. It's just a matter of getting the station safely. So I'm just trying to keep it around 19 now, because that is good enough for our purpose. We're going to have to wait until uh, 1625 to leave anyway. So we got to wait for two minutes to leave. Oh, we're actually losing speed there. Cool. That's enough. So I'm putting a few pounds of, uh, in a few inches of pressure here for the brakes because we are getting to a point that we are going to want to stop soon. So I'm letting the uh, brakes slow the train just slightly at this point. And I'm going to want to stop now. So heavier brakes. Going to change that to a running brake because I want to just stop here just like that. That is fine. We're going to go ahead and open the doors for our final stop at Washford. 
And it just said stop. We didn't actually have to open the doors, so we're just going to finish here. So I'm not going to look at the train. I'm going to just show you what we're going to be doing next. We're going to be stopping right here and dropping the wagons off right there. We're going to eventually be moving and dropping wagons off at Washford Siding 2. A quick check of the train. We haven't suffered any damage. Let's unhook these wagons and get them stowed. Let's do that quickly. I should have actually done that while we had the opportunity, but I didn't. So I'm going to pause for a second as I bring this up. Just so I can show you what we're doing, and I want to make sure I understand too. In fact, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to bring the F7 information up. There we go. So it says drop off the passenger coaches. Well, the passenger coaches, as you might expect, are these guys back here. These are the passenger coaches, these three. These are wagons here. Well, that's, yeah, I think there's two wagons here. So we want to drop off the passenger coaches right here. Let's unpause. We're going to go ahead and drop off these passenger coaches. If I can make sure the train stays break, broke. Break, 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 you. Darn it, don't do this. There. We're gonna go forward a little bit, not much. I think this is a good time to put down a save when I stop here. What do you think? Good time for a save. Let's do that very quickly right here, just in case something goes wrong. So we're gonna go ahead and reverse now, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's just back up slightly. 10 is our speed limit inside the siding, so we're gonna keep this in mind, but we don't have to go too far to get into the Washford siding. In fact, you can see the entire siding. That's all siding. There's nothing else connected to this. So once I get back just a little further, I can actually come to a stop. There, let's stop right now. I'm going to put the reverse forward. I'm going to detach my view. So as I do this, I'm going to move the reverser forward. You're going to go out. I'm going to go forward very, very slightly, not much. Let's release the brakes. Good work. Hook back up to the train for the onward journey. Okay. So this, that was the purpose. That was the delivery being done here. Good. Very, very simple drop off. In the last mission, as you can see, a couple of the passenger coaches, and we're going to stop there and not move again. So coming off of here, we're going to see that the uh, eventually the track will move back over for us. As soon as it does, we can stop. There it is, and we can stop now. And we can reverse back. That's all we need to do at that point. So I'm going to actually turn my head and see not much. So I'm going to go to the back view of the train because that's much more convenient. So another small burst of speed here. And let's not go too fast. Slow down. I'm going to collide with this thing badly. Okay, keep that on for a sec. Good. A little more. Brakes. Brakes. We got it. There, nailed it. Now the stop is to be done, and that is the end of the scenario. Not really much else to discuss here, is there? Let's just turn that off, and let's just pull over here and take a look at the train as it releases some steam, and we are done. That's all she wrote. So that was not the most charming backup to a train but i got the speed down just in time those steam engines get up to speed fast uh well done we survived the storm with not so much as a scratch achievement west somerset railway survived the storm that means you completed scenario five obviously so that's what we got let's look at the score 
And there she is. So uh, we have unlocked the achievement. We've uh, unlocked another perfect score. And uh, we are doing very, very well on this uh, route. Only the one scenario so far that has one impossible timing on it. Uh, but other than that, uh, I think we're doing pretty well. I think we're good on this route. So I'm going to go ahead and do the last scenario next time. That last scenario is supposedly a 90-minute scenario. Is this a whole... Let me look at this. I want to know what this is next time. Let's take a look at the uh, screen. So this is what we're doing next time. The Quantock Bell Special with a Class 33 and uh, an evening trip to Minehead. Are we starting at Bishop Lydiard? Oh my, this is going to be the whole route, isn't it? I can just tell this is going to be the whole route. With a tight timetable, I don't like that wor those words, and a little bit of shunting beforehand, with, which combined with the words tight timetable is scary because you know if you're a little slow in your shunting that you're gonna have a problem with your tight timetable. I do not like this whatsoever. I just wanna say that now. Uh, but it is the final scenario. It is going to be done and we are going to uh, have a nice 90 minute celebration. I might do this in two parts. We'll take a look as, at the start of the scenario. We'll figure out if we're gonna do it in two parts. Uh, but other than that, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. So uh, let's... Uh, get ready for that next time. Again, keep in mind there are a whole bunch of other things here as well that we're gonna do. We're gonna be doing these class 07 shunters at some point. We're gonna do the class 14, which I can't find my manual for. I'm gonna have to look for the manual for that. And we're gonna have the class 47 with a scenario as well. West Somerset Diesel Diesel Heritage Day uh, and an 03 shunter with uh, Freight with Fright. That is a separate DLC pack. Those two trains come together. So we're gonna have all that at some point as well. Notice that one of those, um, called Flamed Out is a class, is a level five scenario. A shunting demonstration is a level five scenario at Dunster. Uh, I can only imagine it's level five because you have timing issues, but well, that's what we're gonna get to do in that particular pack. Uh, and of course, this is a level four scenario, which is a uh, diesel enthusiast crew showing that freight can be fun to watch. So you're gonna take some freight along, there you go. Uh, another shunting demonstration. But anyway, this is what we're doing next time. Quantock Bell Special. And then we're going to move into another route. I don't know if it's going to be a route we've already done or if it's going to be a route that I haven't explored yet. I still have a German route in mind I want to go to. But uh, other than that, I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Train Simulator. This is uh, Cycling. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, support on Patreon if you want to support my work. Not required, definitely appreciated. Join the Discord server if you want to have make suggestions for what I can should play. Uh, that's where I do it. And I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Train Simulator. Have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever it is for your part of the world. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.